Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Miller Co-Pilot Cobot. So in this video today, we're going to go, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to actually make a trailer hitch receiver, a uh, Miller trailer hitch receiver that we had to cut off special made. Um, we, we have a program, so I'm going to walk through the test run and show you guys what this thing can do. We actually wrap the corners in linear mode, which is pretty awesome, uh, kind of unheard of in other Cobots out there on the market. Um, so we're going to link, we're going to link our video, we have another video out there that runs through how to program this thing, we'll link that down below, but this one's just going to come out, we're going to show you an actual part. So in real world time, like where these things fit in, a lot of people have a lot of questions about them and why, why they want to push them so hard. So where we see it is if a, if a shop buys this, purchases it, they put um, just low, you know, high, high versatility parts, right, there's a lot of versatility, you can do a lot of different parts but low runs, so you know, 100, 200 at a time. Um, and then you get one guy that welds them all day, he can program it now, and while he's loading parts, he can also do other things. So it generates value there. Um, so you've got actually now two people working, you've got the cobot working for you, and you got the other guy that was actually welding the parts, doing some other stuff while this thing's running. So that's, that's adding value to your shop. Um, and I mean, they're awesome, they're easy to program, you'll see here. So what we're gonna do, I got it in linear mode. I'm gonna run through this test part. You can, you can see we welded one out. Uh, it's just a hitch receiver, so a two-inch hitch. Um, it's pretty cool. Got it run there. So got it in linear. We got it in teach. I'll just show you here. We're gonna where it welds off, but it's gonna walk around this part. Go to auto. Weld is off. We're gonna hit play just to make sure that we got everything lined up correctly. So we had our first weld here. Uh, just runs down. I didn't have any predetermined length or anything. I just with what I thought looked good. Um, just using some simple fixturing there, nothing major, just a hard stop pushing right against that part. This is the third weld, so there's four total welds. The last one is actually going to, the funnest one, it's going to wrap that top tube. Show you on this here. So as it come down here, we're in linear mode actually when I program it, and it actually wraps this tube, like I said before, one of the only cobots on the market that can do that. And it actually looks pretty good when it got done, but we'll show you here when we put it in weld mode, how it actually runs and uh, go from there. So it looks like everything cleared out perfectly. It goes back to home. So what we're gonna do, we'll go weld on. Make sure we start the program on auto. Look at that. It turned out really well. Let me pop that out and pipe it out and get some players here. There it is, the Miller logo on a truck hitch. Awesome. We got a couple of them there. Um, pretty awesome. So the thing welded pretty darn good. We got the program ran out pretty simple. You can see it's laid down. We just use the Teleset on the program, so it's like auto set. Um, Predetermined wire feed speed and travel speed and voltage. Turned out really well. So, if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.